So BetAngel is Betfair trading software that's primarily designed for use on Windows. However, it is perfectly possible to use it on an Apple Mac, an iPhone, or an iPad. If you want to find out how, then just watch the rest of this video. So if you have an older Intel-based Mac, you may want to use Boot Camp. That will allow you to set up a dual booting operating system. So you choose when you first log on whether you use Windows or the Mac operating system. The only disadvantage to this is that you obviously can't use both at the same time, but that is an option for you if you're using an Intel-based Mac. So one of the options you've got is some virtualization software called Parallels. You install Parallels on your Mac, then you can use any Windows application on there. And it works pretty well. But probably the best part of it is coherence mode, where it actually looks like a Mac application. You can stick it on your dock and use it just the same way you would with any other Mac application. And you can switch between them and it works fairly seamlessly. It's probably not quite as effective as using some other methods, but it's incredibly effective and it integrates perfectly seamlessly with your Mac. So it's an option that you may consider, especially from a cost perspective. So you can see here, I've got BetAngel um, and I've got Windows Explorer behind it. So you can see the structure of Windows Explorer is the same that you're used to and you can navigate into individual windows and stuff like that. Uh, but this is actually on a Mac. So you can actually see here, um, if you're a Mac user, you're, this is obvious to you, this is a Mac OS Sequoia. And I've got a free floating window with BetAngel Professional um, and it's acting just like a typical Mac app. And that is because I'm running BetAngel uh, on Windows, but with parallels in coherence mode. So you can see I've got BetAngel running on here. It's got all of the normal features and this is running on my Mac. I'm not uh, doing anything weird or wonderful here. And in fact, I've got um, over here on another screen, I've got Guardian Doc. So it's perfectly possible um, to use it in exactly the same way that you would uh, if you're on a native Windows device. So yeah, it um, it works pretty effectively. So my preferred option is to use a VPS and there are several reasons for this. You can use a VPS on any internet enabled device from anywhere in the world and it looks like you're sat right at home on your desktop. But also it runs 24 seven so you can run automation on it. And when you disconnect that is running away for you regardless of whatever else you're doing. It's on 24 seven, it works really well. But another benefit that you get is that it's very low bandwidth. So if you're on a slightly dodgy internet connection somewhere, you can connect to your VPS and that will be flying along at full operating speed on a big bandwidth connection at a data center. So that's my sort of preferred option simply because of all those benefits. It can work on any internet enabled device anywhere in the world and you can obviously run it 24 seven. So you can put automation on it and let it run away to its heart content and then maybe just nip on your phone to see how it's doing. So you can connect to the VPS, your remote server, um, via any uh, internet enabled device, including your desktop. You can see that I've done that here. So you can actually see uh, Sequoia operating system in the background. Um, but, you know, if you're running automation, therefore you could set it up um, through Guardian on your desktop, and then you can go off and check on your phone and your iPad. So this is what sort of is really beneficial, but also think about it. If you're using something on your desktop, um, and your internet connection drops, you can just pick up your phone and immediately exit your position using the VPS. So this is one of the reasons that I use the VPS is for that specific function. Not only can I run automation 24 seven, but if I have a problem of any sorts, I can just pick up my phone, use the cellular connection to get out of a particular trade. So one of the advantages of using a VPS is that you can use it on any internet enabled device anywhere in the world, even on an iPhone. So here you can see um, we're on the ladder interface. I'm on BetAngel 
and you know you can sort of zoom in have a look around uh, access all of the things that you want it's a little bit more fiddly than if you were on say an ipad or a desktop but you can actually access it and it's perfect for checking up on things um, exiting trades quickly uh, and all of those other things but if you want bet angel on an iphone then a vps is an obvious option so to complete the trio of Apple devices, you can see that I have BetAngel running on an iPad and I've also got the keyboard and trackpad and stuff on there. But obviously with an iPad, you can actually use gestures to control it. Um, it's up to you how you want to use it. Um, or you could obviously use the keyboard and trackpad and all of that to use it as though you were pretty much on a conventional laptop. But it works really well on an iPad uh, when using a VPS. It looks just like a conventional desktop computer, but of course you can do all of these clever swiping and all of those other bits with it as well. Uh, it works pretty well. So yeah, uh, this is another option that you've got um, if you want to run BetAngel on an Apple device. If you have a VPS, a remote desktop um, solution, then you can run it on your phone, your Mac, and on your iPad. So yeah, it works pretty well. So if you want to learn more about the VPS service, we've been providing these services to customers for many, many years. We're pretty good at it. You can visit our microsite. This will allow you to have a good look at what we've got to offer um, and make a decision from there. But yeah, visit the VPS microsite if you want more information on this service. So if you want to run BetAngel on an Apple Mac, if you've got an old Intel Mac, then you could use Bootcamp. However, you can use an emulator like Parallels that works particularly well, especially in coherence mode. However, my preferred option is to use a VPS because it enables me to use BetAngel on any internet enabled device from anywhere in the world.